Okay, so in the last video, we went through how to create a simple project in Hacksflixel. Um, what I did was I cloned this repo and um, just basically installed, um, yeah, ran the game in the browser and this was the game that I ran. Um, two things I forgot to mention from the last video. One, the command I used, so, so Lime test. Uh, basically, the, the three kind of main Lime commands that you can run, um, I'll put this documentation in the video, but there's, there's line build, which will just build the game, um, and line run, which will run the game in a local server, which is what's going on over here. And line test will do both, so it will build and run a server. So that's basically that. Um, yeah, simple as. So now what I'm going to do is show you how to do a hacks flixel game with Lix. And before you go ahead with that, you do need to have Node installed on your system, because you need Node to download Lix. Um, I don't know why it's that way, but that's the way it is. So to check you have node installed, same as you do with hacks, no dash dash version. So I've got this version, which I think as long as you've got above 10, should be fine. Um, but if you don't have any version, then just, it's as simple as downloading hacks. Basically, just click on this one uh, and it will give you, I think, yeah, it will give you an option to download it, but I have already got it. So what I'm going to do is do the same thing I did for this one, so clone this template, but I'm going to clone a fork of that template that I've put on my um, GitHub, so my account, to um, which has access to Lix. So then um, come back here and then do git clone. There you go. So that's my one. Hit that. That's game jam template, and open that code. Cool. It's running a bit slow at the moment. All right. So different differences we have is the hacks RC, which is showing a 4.1.2 version of hacks. The certain libraries we need for this: so Lime, OpenFL, Flexel, and Flexel add-ons, as well as a slightly changed hacks format, which is um, preferred to my specific style of coding. But you can change that if you want. So now what I'm going to do is open the terminal up again. Um, ignore this error, good thing it's gone. And I, I can't just jump into what I did with the last one, which is line whatever. Um, I have to install all the dependencies. So I have to do um, npm install. And that's it. So it's going to look into my package.json file, see what dependencies I need, which is just Lix at the moment, and then install Lix. So I think it has installed it. Yes, yeah, added it. I've got a critical vulnerability issue. I could fix it now, but I don't really want to do that. So now what I need to do is run um, npx. So Lix has been, oop, it hasn't been installed. Where is my node? Uh, what? That's not what I expected. Um, I'm missing a folder, which is to say node modules. Let's try that again. Okay, let's actually fix this and see if it, see if it um, fixes the issue. Okay, but why don't I have my node my node modules folder? Um, is it here and I just can't see it? It is here, but why can't I see it? That's a bit weird. Okay, so I do have node modules folder. It's just invisible for some reason. Um, anyway, let's clear all this stuff. So if I now run uh, mpx lix, so what, what this is doing now is checking my the version of lix that has been installed in the project. Um, and the, lix, the version of lix has been installed in just this project, not globally anywhere. So only this project should have lix. Um, let's see what happens if I just run this. What's it going to say? OK, so lix is there. And the benefit of installing lix is that I can have um, as you saw, a specific version of Hacks, so this is different from my global version. I can have set versions of my um, plugins, and this is one of the reasons why the previous kind of video had that error, because my global version of Hacks and my global version of, of Lime um, were massively out of date, or my Hacks was newer than my Lime. So um, I think now we can just run mpx Lime, or sorry, mpx, yeah, mpx Lime test. So I'm running the project version of Lime, Let's see if this works. It's doing something. Now we can see it. That was hidden the whole time for some weird reason. 
So typically, um, Nick's versions of, of hacks, books, or projects take a bit longer to load up, but they're my personal preferred version. Okay, and there you can ha there you have it. So that's um, that project working. And the benefit of doing it this way is, let's say for some weird reason this, this whole machine crashed, wiped, gone, um, and I need to get this project up and running again. What I can do is just simply download the um, download the node, of course, download this repo from GitHub, and then just run the same commands I did. Um, I think I'd have to actually run um, npx lix, sorry, npx lix download to get all the dependencies. But once that's done, I can just get straight into game dev. Whereas before, or the previous video way of doing it, I'd have to install um, hacks, uh, lime, openfl, flix, all that stuff separately. So this is a lot quicker way of doing it, and I can install this on any single operating system. So this will work on Windows, Mac, Linux. Um, I don't have to worry about the environment because it will install its own version of Hacks. Um, and yeah, this is my preferred way of doing it. So, so going forward with the course, I'm going to be using the Lix version of the project. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.